Hey guys. I have been gone for what has almost been a year. I'm sorry, but today I'm coming at you with a child routine video. I decided to start calling you guys Rosebuds. And this year I have a lot of time to reflect and like think about like, you know, my channel and stuff like that. So y'all are my Rosebuds. Welcome back to all my Rosebuds. And to the new ones, welcome to the channel where you can be inspired by me to become a better version of yourself. That's exactly what this channel is all about. Today we're going to develop a shower routine. After you shower, don't you just feel like fresh? Not just in the body because for the most part you can't tell that you're dirty or you're clean from the outside. But don't you just feel refreshed? You know, this is a cleanse of all aspects, you know. So you might as well just make it as best as possible. And who doesn't want to be clean and smelling good? And that is exactly what you are gonna get from the shower routine. It's kind of like a rose, floral, feminine, pretty pink shower routine theme type thing. Um, without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Mask of today is 100% pure bentonite clay and it's really good for its detox and healing properties. So before I hop in the shower, I like to go in with a hair removal cream. It stinks so bad, but it prevents the razor bumps, hyperpigmentation, and strawberry legs that could come from shaving. So, okay, this is good for me. I just put this on my arms, underarms, legs, and maybe sometimes my stomach. Light your favorite candles, ladies, because it is time to pamper yourself in the shower. So I'm first going to go in with this bar soap. When I tell y'all this smells so soft, pretty feminine. I've been using this ever since I was a child. I just love it so, so, so much. It gets you so clean. That bar soap is going to get you clean, okay? The liquid soaps, you know, they're going to make you smell good. But these bar soaps is going to get you clean. So make sure you do not skip that. And let you make this your first wash. I also like to go in with a scrub that I use personally for my feet for a good light exfoliation. And so I don't have to put whatever is on my feet or the rest of my body as well as making sure that I get in all those crevices, okay? Next, it's time for a body wash. Now this is my favorite. It has rose water, pink sea salt, rose quartz. It smells so pretty and cute. It is kind of hard to find in stores and it has a slight citrus smell, but I did include an alternative if that is not something that you're interested in. It is now Keep time to exfoliate. I highly recommend this body polish for sensitive skin or daily use. It has a creamy but gritty consistency. It's not a sugar scrub, so it doesn't melt into your skin. But when I tell you, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good, y'all. So this one is a rougher sugar scrub so it does melt into your skin. I would not recommend this for everyday use or for people with sensitive skin, but when I tell you it gets the job done, okay? It has a really potent, pretty flower scent that will last you outside of the shower. <laughs> it will. And it just works wonders. So I love both of these. I wouldn't use them at the same time, but... Okay, so to shave, I use the six blade razor for my downstairs area and I use the three blade razor for the rest of my body, but emergency purposes only. But if you guys want a kitty care video, just let me know in the comments. This Olay body conditioner smells so good and has the perfect slip and consistency that I like to use as a shaving cream. Here I'm just demonstrating that if I'm wearing a dress or some shorts and I have to shave real quick, I will go ahead and shave instead of using that nasty smelling nail every single time to remove hair. No. So that's it for my pamper shower routine. Subscribe so that you can stay tuned for the after shower routine and so much more. Thank you for making it so far and hope you have an amazing day. Love you.